I'm going to show you a quick demonstration of what you can do with, with Object Cloud, how you can push things to archive to the cloud, and then later on, when you, after you've deleted them from the main system for space, uh, you can restore them back through uh, the cloud cache drive. Uh, so let's start off here, uh, just get into uh, a little, couple pieces of media here that I have. They're pretty small, uh, so they can all sort of happen while, while we're talking here. Um, a couple of hot air balloon clips that I have. Um, so from here, uh, I can I can do a couple different things. Uh, I can go to archive and I can copy to the cloud. I can I can copy to to an online, which is a standard copy, or through an archive path, I can copy to cloud. So I'm going to do that to to both of these actually. I'm going to highlight them both. Archive, uh, copy to cloud. Uh, so now, if I come back here, you'll see that the file names have have increased. Instead of just the demo media to uh, path, I also see a cloud path. And uh, currently, it says that it's it's cached uh, until such time as uh, it will be flushed from the system. And if I get a refresh there, so now we see that it is an object cloud. Now that means that it's just been flushed from the cache drive, and it only exists now in the cloud in this location. Um, so, but it's still here in my demo media. Uh, so, but if I decide that you know I need to delete those because I want to go save space, I'll just I'll open up that directory and say, okay, you guys are gone. And I'll come back here and hit refresh. And now I see red for the source. So wherever the primary was for that file is now gone. Um, so what I have to do is I have to go here and say, okay, well, now the object cloud becomes the primary file because I know that I can always get it back uh, from the cloud and now this comes in, and you see it turned again, <coughs> a different color, and that's turned to orange. Orange means offline. It means it's there, the file's there, but it's offline. It's not ready for you to use. Uh, and then also from here, if I want to, if I deleted the demo media to volume entirely, I didn't want to, to get that back, or I didn't want to restore it back to that, I could always just uh, drop the missing file. And so that goes away that goes away. So now the only place where these live uh, is in the cloud volume. Uh, if I want to make those back online again and get them to the place where I can use them, uh, all I have to do is highlight them and say prefetch. Prefetch is I go to the cloud, I download those files to the cache volume, and now they're ready for you to use. They'll become online again. They'll become cached again. Uh, so in a prefetch, that goes out to the server, does its thing, goes to the cloud, brings them down. So they no longer exist in that location anymore since I deleted them. So I'll just do a, a quick search for that, just do a wild card, and it'll find those. And there they are. Okay, so uh, here's my, my balloon uh, clips, and you can see here they exist on cloud. Uh, they are cached again. They are, they are back from being offline, and they are cached. Uh, and now I can open them up directly and, and play them down. Uh, so uh, that is the process of archiving to the cloud at a clip-to-clip -clip level here, or on a directory-to-directory -directory level. I didn't get into how we can make this uh, faster by getting into each individual, um, instead of going into each individual clip, get into the entire directory structure. So this whole jack track volume, I can say, you know what, this whole thing, uh, I want this to move, or at least you know, one level down. I want that whole that, that whole thing to move to the cloud. And then it asks me, like, hold on a second, you want the current folder or every single folder under it as well? Uh, so you can decide, you know, how much you want to move all at once. Um, but that's the process of archiving, uh, either clip to clip uh, or um, in in large uh, chunks via via uh, volume via uh, folders, um, and how to then restore it. You know, once you've deleted the originals, how to then restore it back uh, to uh, the cache volume so that you can then use it from the cache volume uh, on your desktop. So um, next we'll get a little more into how we tag files, uh, how we assign catalogs to files after the fact if you want to have a global catalog and, and move those files around uh, in the sort of uh, asset management and, and tagging portion of this.